Hello viewers, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome to the last part or part 4 of Spinal Deformity Lecture In this video we will discuss about scoliosis and the nursing problems of spinal deformity Let's start with the definition of scoliosis Scoliosis is the abnormal curve of backbone uh, to the direction of sideways So uh, the scoliosis patients have a backbone that curved uh, to the left or to the right or both so their backbones uh, from the back looks like um, a letter S it could happen uh, in the cervical, thoracal or lumbar segments like the picture the classification of scoliosis uh, the first is from its cause uh, it can be idiopathic scoliosis, uh, which is the cause has not been definitely established or still unknown. And then congenital scoliosis, uh, it is from failure of vertebral, vertebral form formation and the failure of segmentation of the vertebrae. And then uh, the compensatory scoliosis that happen as the secondary curve located above or below primary scoliosis. It happen as the uh, the result of the body of the patient is to maintain normal body alignment. And then neuromuscular scoliosis uh, caused by cere uh, central nervous system disorders and muscle disorders. Uh, and then non-structural or functional curve uh, caused by leg length discrepancy when one leg is longer than the other so uh, the posture is tilted and then the back is compensating to having uh, abnormal curve sideways and then poor posture uh, when the posture is slightly unbalanced sideways and then muscle spasm and it could be happen ca because of other causes the classification uh, from the location of scoliosis uh, the first is cervical thoracic curve the apex is at is at cervical 7 or thoracal 1 thoracic curve the apex is between thoracal 2 and thoracal 11 thoracolumbar curve the apex is at thoracal 12 lumbar 1 or the thoracal 12 to lumbar 1 interspace the lumbar curve is at lumbar 1 and lumbar 4 and the lumbosacral curve is at lumbar 5 or below the treatment of scoliosis is depend on the degree of severity of the scoliosis Doctors usually only observe it if the degree are between 10 to 25 uh, and then they will use bracing uh, in the 25 to 45 degrees of curve and then surgical intervention if the degree is more than 45 The determining factors of the treatment uh, are the age of patients and growth potential remaining the treatment for the uh, children, adolescents and adults would be differ uh, depending on their ages and then curve pattern and magnitude curve progression rate uh, is it uh, 5 to 10 degrees in 6 months or less and then the cosmetic appearance the options for bracing are many nowadays some examples are Milwaukee brace like in the picture Boston brace uh, the difference maybe uh, the Milwaukee has kind of uh, long uh, straight 
parts in the back and the front while the baston doesn't have it and for surgical treatment uh, back in the 1960s to 80s usually doctors use Harrington rod so the doctors or surgery team would open the back and then put uh, this rod to help straighten the backbones and then uh, it will reduce the curvature like this uh, first it looks like this before the surgery and this is after about six months after the implantation of Harrington rod nowadays uh, it is rare to use because of the complications and some methods are used such as IP fix and fusion uh, which is requires less uh, loss of blood less transfusion and less infection and then the nursing problems of spinal deformity included uh, acute and chronic pain and then activity intolerance uh, impaired dis impaired comfort, impaired physical mobility, impaired walking, impaired uh, impaired body image, and then impaired. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, low self-esteem and risk of disproportional growth. Okay, thank you for your attention. Please write your discussion in the comment section. See you in the next video. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.